people. So guess what? ARG already all fucking ready changed their list. What the fuck? Like it's been like not even a month. Not even a month, and you're already changing your list. I mean, of course, we assume that you're going to be changing your list after you saw Konami's list, and you wanted to do, you know, your changes accordingly, but some of the changes that they did were some things that Konami did and some things that they weren't, so literally, you know, just like Konami's list, there's no end date, so you don't know when you're going to change it, but we didn't think you were going to change it that quick, like... Wow, it's not. A, it's a, you couldn't even wait till August. You at least could have waited till August to be like, "Hey, look, this is the August list," and then we could be like, "Oh, so you're gonna do like a list every month?" No, less than every month. You know, last list that was the July list. This is like the July list. So I don't know. I don't know. No one's taking your ass seriously, RG. But you keep doing your thing. You keep doing your thing, girl. So anyway, uh, July twenty seventh, two thousand fifteen, effective immediately. Let's go ahead and see the changes. So. El Shadal Construct is no longer restricted, alright, well, Shadal's didn't get hit, and, uh, you know, in the Konami list, so I guess they're like, you know what, let's just not hit Shadal, you know, because they, they, they hit Shadal's pretty hard, and by pretty hard, I mean they did the exact hit that Shadal should get, you know, definitely limiting Construct, but now they're just gonna bring Construct back, which is dumb, so, I believe El Shadal Fusion is still at one, you know, so, there you go. Uh, ooh, look, they're copied off of Konami, so Unicorn no longer restricted, then straight to one. So, um, I know Vexicus put up a video about this, and he was like, yo, Unicorn is no longer limited, and straight to one, just like in, you know, Konami's list, so, you know, Necros will rule again, oh my god, Necros are the best, um, uh, no offense to you, Vexicus, but, uh, you know that, uh, Trish is still banned, right? Yeah, yeah, they didn't, they didn't touch Trish, so, there you go. You know how great, you know, Shrit was, where you would use it for the entire tribute of Trish and then Trish your opponent, because Shrit was the entire tribute, so that means you didn't have to tribute 9, and then have it, what, be like a level 6 and a level 3, or a level 5 and a level 4, yeah, you know, you know, and then make, you you know how you can do that in the, in uh, Konami Flows? Because Shrit is the entire tribute, even at 1? Yeah. Trish is still banned. So... The deck still has no bite, so there is really no point in even doing these kind of changes. Like I said, I don't think anybody's gonna be playing Necros in the ARG format. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong, but I just don't see it. Like without without Trish, with Trish Bam, you just don't have any bite. So you literally just copy off Konami. No surprise there. Uh, the British Dragon will go up to two. I mean, it really got hit down to one because of Dragon Rose, but now the Dragon Rose are banned, and you know they moved Sacred Sword and they moved Dragon Ring, but they kind of just forgot about the British Dragon. So I guess moving up to British Dragon is fine. Deep Sea Diva. I can't remember. Did they move Dragoons? I can't remember if they moved Dragoons or not, but it looks like they're going to go ahead and move Diva up to two. Okay. Wind Up Magician is no longer on the hit. And then look, they actually banned Hunter. Fucking idiots. They should have done it the first time. I mean, there was kind of a reason why when Konami started moving shit for fucking uh, Wind Ups in the OCG that they banned Hunter. And then y'all fucking forgot. And we were clearly seeing some perfect examples of the Hunter loop, you know, where they would take, you know, two to all of your hand. And it's just like... Yeah, 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 you might want to ban that, so, there you go, so their they're shit's pretty much like the OCG now, you know, you have Triple Shark, Triple uh, Wind Up Magician, I think you only still have one carrier, well, I think the OCG has two, and Hunter is banned, so, there you go, and there you go, effective immediately, there you go, ARG, so serious with their shit, so let's go ahead and read their explanations for why they did this list so fucking quick, and why they're just, mm, I don't know, it's so stupid, anyway. As another ARG event comes close, we're excited to see all of the innovations put forth by the players. <sighs> so stupid. No one's gonna take your shit seriously. Like, if you're gonna literally change the list so quickly, like less than a month, how is anybody supposed to take your shit seriously? You could literally just make a deck shit to good to shit to good at the flip of a fucking coin like that? Like, no, 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 stupid. <sighs> we don't want this innovation to end, so we're back with a few changes to the list. I mean, besides the, besides, you didn't really do much. You unhit Shadal's, so I believe, like I said, so El Shadal Fusion 1, but Construct was the correct hit. You can have El Shadal Fusion at 3, but then when you have Construct being able to loop the El Shadal Fusion, even at 1, you can still keep on grabbing it back with Construct, and no, Construct is the one that should be hit. El Shadal Fusion can stay at 3. No one cares. Construct the one that needs to go down to 1, so you did that wrong. Uh, you did the tr you did the hits that Konami did for Necros, but your Trish is still banned, so that's wrong. Uh, and you brought back old crap that no one cares about, like the Bridge Dragon and the Deep Sea Diva, which no one's going to be running those decks at ARG events anyway, because you still, you know, you wanted to go ahead and tweak and fix things, but yet you still didn't hit Teller Knights, didn't hit freaking Klee's, like, 
So that's stupid. And you kind of fixed the wind-up shit, which no one gave a shit about anyway. So, <sighs> so stupid. So, we're back with a few list changes. So, ban. Underpunter. We wanted to bolster the power of one but you don't want to introduce the once format defined hand loop to our format, which you did. Banning wind up hunter will allow wind ups more with other changes. Like I said, you should have done that in the first place, and if you were gonna do the changes of wind ups, you should have looked at set precedence and done a little bit more research before jumping on that dick and just thinking that you could just bring back carrier and uh, move magician without banning hunter because AR I mean OCG did it right, ARG did it wrong. So, yay, congratulations, you actually paid attention to what OCG did before fucking up for a couple months. Not like anybody played your fucking... A couple... Uh, wow, I actually said a couple months. A couple weeks! <sighs> so stupid. Like, no one took your shit seriously. I, was there even an ARG event? Like, like oh, look at our second list! Would there even Did anybody even play on the first list? Was there, was there even a tournament on the first list? I don't know. I don't keep uh, uh, ARG. I'm just saying this is stupid. This is all. This is all stupid. With your fucking made up fairy tale list. It's just, it's dumb. Next, restrict to one. Shrit the strategist of the necro. Shrit strategist. That, what, what is this? Shrit strategist of the necro. Shrit strategist of the necro. Is, like, do do you want to put like some kind of period or something like here? Because you literally just said the same shit over and over again. It's stupid. Like even your punctuation is stupid. Has taken a leading role in the new necro's deck. Providing two free summons per copy, as well as a search for either Necros of Colossus or Necros of Bionic, are the main reason why Shirt has been seen at three in the new Necros deck. Allowing instant summons of Decisive Armor, Gunnir, Valkyrus is proving too powerful for the current format. Oh wow! So I guess even in ARG format, I guess Necros were still kicking butt without Trish. As like I said, they, they can still do things without Trish, it's just they don't have much of a bite anymore. But I guess with Shirt being your entire, you know, Tribute, then, you know, yeah, because when we were discussing what should get hit in Necros, I was saying Shred, but I don't know. With Shred at one, Trish banned, I don't know, I don't know. We want the weaker Necros in order to allow other decks to thrive alongside of Necros instead of lagging behind it. Okay, but then uh, you still brought Brownic back, so I guess you literally were like, hey, we want to hit Necros, but I guess we'll just go ahead and hit Necros the way that Konami hit Necros, even though they didn't hit Necros too hard, and Necros are still the top deck of the format, so, I don't know. Cause you gotta do a lot more. Yeah, you gotta do a lot more. So I guess there you go, people. Even when they banned Trish, it wasn't enough because people were doing other things, you know. So there you go. So restricted to two. Keeps Diva. We wanted to get Mermos and Boost to bring them up to speed with the current deck, so that fans of this major strategy can have a fighting chance. Uh, Deep Sea Diva allows more plays while limiting the consistency of former Megalo Diva OTK since Lantern Dragoon Integral at the OTK is still at 1. Okay, so they still have uh, Dragons at 1, but Diva to 2, and then we have Diva at 1 and Dragons to 2. So, you know, maybe if they actually look at each other, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. ARG and Konami, maybe they can figure out what they do with it, but okay, I guess. The Breeze Dragon. Bumping up the numbers of Jabir Dragons since Plant Fan. Uh, gives plant fans a new breath of life into their decks, I guess. The Dragon Rose Baron felt that this card could come back to two, got to strong the balance we are aiming to create. That's fine. That's fine. And no longer restricted. On position with Wind Up Hunter Ban, Wind Up Magician can safely come back to three, allowing Wind Ups to exist as an XE toolbox deck. Okay. And finally, their construct. Uh, El Shadal construct with the absolute Shadals once again, we felt we had weakened the deck too far. Yeah, you did, by hitting El Shadal Fusion as well. Because then that just lowers the consistency of their Fusion Summons, which is what the deck thrives on. The deck shouldn't have to thrive on looping Construct to Construct to Construct. But if you hit Construct down to one, you have one powerful Construct, all your other Fusions, and keeping your Fusion cards. Like I said, Construct with one, El Shadal Fusion doesn't need to get hit. Because if you hit El Shadal Fusion and Construct, then you're just lowering, not only hurting the fact that you, can, you can't you can loop Construct anymore, but then you're lowering the consistency of their Fusions. You know? Like, we hit El Shadal Fusion, all right, so I have one El Shadal Fusion, three Shadal Fusion, going up against Shadals who don't even use the, I mean Shadals, going up against freaking uh, Neckers and Klees who don't even use the extra deck, so, you know, my Shadal Fusion is not even nearly as good as my Elf Shadal Fusion, but that shit's that one too, like, so stupid. Yeah, we felt we had weakened the deck far, uh, too far, and then they give them a l little more power to try and bring them to a fair playing field, no, uh, the Neckers, uh, Neckers of Unicorn was shit at one, leaving 
Unicorn at one will allow other strategies that what? Leaving Unicorn at one would allow other strategies that were neck and neck with Necros to blindly overpower them. Okay. Our goal has been to diverse meta where anything can do well and keep true to what we don't want to kill Necros. We simply want to weaken it down to the point where other decks compete as well. We didn't want to kill Necros, yet we jumped balls deep and banned Trish. I mean, I guess I was wrong. I thought if you ban Trish, then the Necro is going to be dead, but clearly that they didn't because they just played other strategies, which is what I thought they would do, just play other strategies. So, I don't think this is it. I don't think, you know, you know, Unicorn 3, Shred at 1, and still the same thing. Still the same thing. You know, so, U-Turn simply still balance Necros. You didn't do it. Still didn't do it. So, good luck. Good luck, because still wrong, LG. All right. With our new ARG format, we evaluate the list a little closer for any unbalances after each circuit event. After each circuit event? Nigga! So you're telling me that you're going to get a new fucking list every single time you do an event? That is what... So you're pretty much saying never go to any ARG events because what was good last event is not going to be good the next event because they're going to give you a new list. Like, oh, this is fucking this event's list, and this event's list, and this event's list. This is too much changing. Like, I'm, you know, I'm totally a conservative player, and I don't mind hits and changes to lists. I love the ban list, because I like seeing the changes, you know? It, it keeps uh, Yu-Gi-Oh fresh. But when it's every single fucking event, I mean, how do you know? Like, you you literally look at the last... If you're part of the ARG and you want to do an event, you will literally look at the last ARG event and be like, oh, wow, that's what's top. All right, let me go ahead and get my deck ready prepared for the next event because I'm going to go ahead and use that. Oh, wait, shit's already flicked on its head. Like, you can't prepare and have set precedence on ARG's event because you're just going to change it to the fucking next list, uh, uh, the next event with a new list. Stupid. <sighs> we look at cards that are unlikely to add more strength to the already powerful decks and might add a new plan of action for decks presently not performing as well as the top decks in the current. That's the whole point. Like, Andrew, you're too liberal. You, 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 are, you are taking liberal. You know what? You know what? And uh, this might be blasphemy to say, but you guys are beyond liberal because OTG is kind of liberal. You are on liberal. You want to equate everyone equal when it's not possible to make every deck equal by doing these ever-changing plans and making everybody equal? And the, the specific word is equal? Equality? TCG is generally conservative. Hold on. Hold on. I'm about to blow your mind. TCG is conservative. OCG is liberal. ARG is communist. Boom! Blew your mind, didn't I? They're communists! They are fucking communists! It's not possible. It is impossible to balance equate everybody. It's impossible. The newer decks are stronger they are. And, of course, ARG doesn't care about, you know, what deck is strong to make any money, to make a profit, you know, and be, you know, money-making. <laughs> or, you know, this American, this fucking, uh, American style of play, like, you know, Konami is. No, they don't care. They just want everybody to be balanced. Like communist. Wow, ARG is the communist list. I blew my own mind with that. I'm a fucking genius. Wow. So there you go. So anybody, <laughs> I'm not going to go to the and say that anybody he's on ARG and anybody goes ARG is a communist. But when you really look at how they're doing the list and these ever changes, trying to balance every queen, everybody, and everybody equal, you're a communist. I and mean, it just doesn't work like that, you know? I'm totally fine with doing a little bit of conservative hits, hitting the top decks, you know? See, see, because there's a stop. There's the communist. I mean, there's there's the conservative player who think hit the top decks and bring them down so the decks at the bottom can come up. But you don't need to give them other shit. You don't you don't need to give decks in the past. Just bring the decks to the current down. That's the conservative thought. The liberal thought is the opposite, where you don't hit the top decks but bring old shit back from previous decks and bring them up to try to equate with the current meta, which didn't get hit. That's the liberal thought. <laughs> trying to balance out both by bringing the top down and then the bottom up and then ever changing and trying to tweak that's the communist thought and as you guys know i'm a conservative player you know because i just don't think that bringing shit back from the past is a quitting thing you know because 
I just don't agree with the liberal threats. Thoughts. We hit those cards for a reason. So why would we bring them back just to compete with the current meta? I mean, I get it. You want to make some profit, Konami. So why would you go ahead and bring shit back from the past to combat the current debt? And if the shit from the past beats the current debt, then Konami loses money. Why don't you just bring the shit down from the top, bring it down, and then it sit in the pool at the bottom and stack more stuff on top? So that's the reason why I'm concerned about because I'd be seeing the liberal players like, oh yeah, let's bring spell books back, a spell book of judgment and dragon rulers back so they can fight against the meta and we can have a more diverse meta. Like, no, that's stupid. So anyway, I'm done. I'm done. I just, I just wanted to state that. So there you go. ARG, another new list, even though not many changes and they want to see every single fucking event. Like, no. So, I've never been to an ARG event, nor do I plan on going. This is just stupid, you know. And I'm done. I'm done. So, tell me what you guys think about ARG format list, and if you're going to go in ARG events. And if I blew your mind with that, with that uh, ARG is communist. So, I uh, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I guess we'll see you guys next time. We'll look at another ARG list in about, I don't know, like a day or two. Okay, okay. Probably next month. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.